but everybody knows. <laughs> My name is Megan Good. <laughs> Actress extraordinaire, gorgeous, fabulous woman. Thank and you. yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us why you're here. Uh, I'm here tonight to support the event. I'm actually uh, hosting it and just, you know, we're going to have a great time. I'm excited because this really brings back the spirit of just like what dancing is. And I think a lot of times in New York and in LA and you know, different places, people don't really come out to enjoy themselves the way that they should. Yeah. You know, it's not all about the drinking. It's not all about the sizing everyone up or looking what everyone's wearing. It's more about enjoying yourself, having fun, you know, kind of letting your inhibitions run wild and just being free. <laughs> I'm sorry. You got to dance fever moment right now. <laughs> yeah, but you, you remember back in the day when we used to go out, just like you said, we used yeah. to actually dance. Exactly. You have a good time. So that's great that you're bringing that back. Yeah. You know, you're part of that movement. So besides that, in this event, I know you're a very busy lady doing a lot of different things. Uh, I heard that you are directing or producing or writing. Tell me what you're doing. Producing mostly right now. I um, just produced, well, I produced another film a, a couple years back called Miles From Home, and just now we're working on getting distribution. Um, I think it's going to be in Magic Johnson's theaters, and from then we hopefully you know, want to expand. But the subject matter deals with um, teenage prostitution, spirituality, uh, drug addiction, uh, just a... Uh, a lot of different things that haven't really been touched on and the film that we just did recently which just finished literally like four months ago it's called video girl and it's not the current Stefan story but it's kind of the very unassuming story of um, a small town girl who you know was a professional ballet dancer was doing well for herself and then she got in a car accident and messed up her knee so now she's not dancing anymore she's not sure if she wants to go to college her grandmother's raising her her parents are out of the picture and it's kind of um, following her journey as she ends up in the music video world and kind of, you know, it's something she's doing for fun and it becomes something that, you know, spawns into many other things as it often does for girls. And what I really wanted to do was bring the awareness of, you know, what's being projected, how you carry yourself, uh, your self-worth, all those kind of things. And so for, for this particular story, I wanted to show women how it's so easy to go to LA or to go somewhere else and really get caught up, you know? Yeah. Or maybe it isn't your dream. Maybe you're just following someone telling, oh, you're so pretty, you should be an actress. Or you're so pretty, you should do this, you should do that. And people feed you a lot of BS. And so I just kind of want to make young women who want to leave home and kind of pursue these things be aware of what they're really asking for, Ooh, you know? Cool. Are you acting in both those pictures? The one yes. that's... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah both great. of them. So it's, it's good. That's what I kind of want to do is be at the uh, forefront of pioneering um, black art house films because we don't have black art house films. Majority of our films, you know, we're dancing, shooting each other, yeah, getting I know. Your hair done, yeah. or eating. And so, I mean, not to not any disrespect to that because I've been in a lot of those films and those have been giving me an opportunity to have this plateau now. But what I wanted to do was kind of, you know, elevate in terms of, of how we're perceived as black people, all the different walks of life we come from and all the different things that we're experiencing. And so, you know, black art house films, I mean, everybody has their Monsters Ball or their Monster or their Juno or their this or their that. And I want us to have ours, you know? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, I'm really appreciative because I'm a filmmaker. Oh, good. Yes, oh, good. yes, yeah. I'm so appreciative of that. I, I studied directing and producing as well. So okay. kudos to you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. yeah. And blessings on everything you do. Thank you. Uh, ask her the question that we always talk about on the show. You do it, you do it. Okay. 
Is there anything about yourself that you would love your fans to know that they may not know about you right now? Wow. Um, that I'm very God-fearing, but that I'm not perfect. So when I say something, I mean it when I'm talking about God. But if I do something that someone may perceive as hypocritical or contradicting, chances are it's probably not. It's it's. People deal with God in different ways, and I'm a Christian, and I believe in God, and I go by the word. But again, I'm not perfect, but there's a lot of things that I feel like are, are new age Christianity. Like for instance, most Christians might not be in the club. I will be, because that's an opportunity to talk to someone who probably wouldn't go to church. Or you know, whatever it may be, strip club or whatever, that's an opportunity to talk to someone. Whereas if you came right out with, hey, I'm a Christian, this is that, they might not receive you. They're like, oh, she's judging me, she's looking at me funny, this is that. That's how I felt a majority of my life. So I've kind of lent my time to doing things differently. Like, I might do a King magazine, but you're not going to see me with a G-string or lingerie or nude or any of that. That's my way of showing you how to do it classier and yeah. showing you you don't have to show everything. You know what I mean? To so feel sexy or feel beautiful. So with that being said, I'm not perfect, but my heart's in the right place, and uh, my intentions are definitely good. What's up? This is your girl, Megan Good, and you're watching Sugar Water Radio and Black Seeds Entertainment. God wouldn't do that to us. <laughs> and I know you've gone through a lot, you know, you lose your job and everything. You know, the church is here for you. We take care of Miles, okay? It's going to be okay. You hear me? Yeah. I'm going to take care of you. Do you have a name? Yes, my name is Miles. Where do you see yourself in five years? You're asking too many questions. I believe we all have a purpose. Okay, so what is your purpose? Faith. So, what's the school do you guys go to? We don't do school. You should hang out with us sometime. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Just trying to survive, you know? Searching for life's meaning is my major dream. <laughs> I would like to introduce everyone to my new friend, Maya. I really feel that there's something between us. Where was Miles at, man? I mean, if we're going to be friends, then I should know everything about you, right? You're going to make my money. Fifties, hundreds. Forty dollars. Let's make this quick. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs>